All right, I'm up here. Um, it's nine o'clock ish, nine thirty, something like that. I can't really remember how long it took me to get here. I was kind of lollygagging around. But I'm going to try to give in this section all the macro agates come from down in there a few feet. I had some cave ins here, but I'm going to get on it, folks. We're going to find some vintage marbles. That's for sure. I know it. Glad it didn't take long. Got some of this. You can see, got some of this cleaned out. Started raking in here. Within the first couple minutes, there's another one of these big. Man, this one's bigger. That's the biggest one so far, are these orange ones. Man, I found like eight, nine of these yesterday, all mint condition. They're not bad. It's a nice marble for the first one. I mean, this one's hard to see. I saw it roll. It's right here. I mean, that's, that's a marble. Huh. Uh, it's nice. It's nice. Hold on. You know, it has a little chip right there at the top, but that's some kind of swirl, clear base swirl. It's beautiful. It's still pretty nice. This is a really nice bottle. Look at these white things there. I've never seen this bottle with ease. It's an old Dr. Pepper aqua glass, and I mean the ACL is perfect. That's a heck of a find. That's nice. Later. All right, I just did. I mean, there's so much stuff here for me to film. It. I only been here 10 minutes, and this is like the fourth or fifth cliff. Some of them I'll even cut, but here's another marble. Looks pretty nice. It's a cat. Oh, look at this. This is way better than it looked. I thought it was one of them. Oh, it's a, it's a vitro agate cage cat eye. It's beautiful. Look at it. Wow. Later. All right, this is a vitro agate cage cat eye. It's like an orangish red one. You know, get it to focus here so you can see it. It's got bubbles all in it. It's real nice. Thanks for watching. Haven't found one of these for a while. You see it? It's a chest piece. Very cool. It looks nice in my collection. That's vintage. It's real nice. It's almost like Bakelite. Let's rake this out, and that's right where it lays. It's a big Lake Army, man. It's marks. It's all beat up. That would have been awesome. Imagine that hole. Man, later. Another solid color one. Man, there's a lot of solid color ones in here, but they're all nice. That's another yellow one. It's got another swirl to it, like a deeper yellow, but not my back wall. There's a huge piece of concrete there. It weighs hundreds of pounds. I'm gonna have to dig it out and drop it. There's the marbles are going up the hill. There's another blue one. Like going back that way, here's another one. Just looks like a blue cat eye, but I found acro and Real awesome alley ag. It's ox bloods in here over the last week. Go back and watch the rest of my videos. I'm on a run of like four or five of these in a row with all amazing marbles. We'll get a nice one here soon. I know I'll find a good one. Yeah, I just got this one. This is nice. It's real deep glass, like black almost, but I think it's real dark green. It's not even, it's opaque. I have been up there on that wall, but I found the most concentrations of marbles right in here. I'm going to dig this area. I got one. I got a lot of digging to, to do today, so there ain't going to be a big pile of marbles, but there's going to be some. It's just a white one. Paid off moving down in here. This is where I found the best marbles. I go to the places where I find the best airheads and the best marbles, and that's where I look. Waste your time on junk. Look at this. Man, that looks good, doesn't it? Right there. Oh, it's clear base. It's beautiful. Oh, man. Look at that. It's got a nice swirl pattern to it. Look at that. Oh, man. Beautiful marble. I'll show it up close with a good camera later. Well, I just found one of these the other day. Anco windshield washer fluid. It's even got the price for 65 cents. I looked on eBay and went to it. A guy had a box of these that were new old stock, and he sold multiples of them for $38. So this one's got to be worth 20 all cleaned up, all the ACLs there. That's a nice little bottle. But the thing about this place, the ACLs are just incredible. Look at this. This will clean up to look brand spanking new. Verner's Ginger Ale. Detroit, Michigan. Look at that. That's a nice bottle. Later. Yeah, there's another beautiful hillbilly Mountain Dew out here. Man, there's ACL sodas everywhere. 
don't find as many marbles. I'm finding them, but not as many as I have been. I'm finding all kinds of ACO bottles now. Later, I might have just got a day maker, but I'm finding all kinds of bottles. There's an, well, that one's melted. I thought it was good. But I got a peewee marble, I think, unless it's a bead. And I haven't found a true peewee for a while. It's right here. Huh, this looks pretty good. Oh, man, folks. Oh, it's a bead. I thought that was, oh, that looked good, didn't it? That big white patch on that. It's glass and it's swirled like a marble, but it's it's all messed up. This is the nicest one of these I've ever found. This bottle's worth a little bit. It's a Sprite. Look how nice it is. Nicest one I've ever found. It's perfect condition. Oh man, look at this. That is awesome. That bottle's worth some money. You know, that's a really cool looking little bottle. It's green. Some kind of liquor bottle. It's machine made, but that top looks really cool. I'm gonna take that. I'm just now getting down to a decent layer. Look how big that piece of concrete is right there, Jesus. But I got another marble here. Just looks like a marble king. You know, fucking. That's all it was. It's right here. I dropped it. It's hard to handle marbles with the gloves on, and it's melted a little bit. It's out around. You know, this is a nice bottle, too. Look at this. Red, white, and blue, two full glasses, Pepsi. Look at that. It's nice. It's clean up. What's it say? Princeton, West Virginia. Nice. Black label beer, but I got another marble. And it's a, it's a caged cat eye again. Second one like this in the trip. Real beautiful. Orange vitro agate caged cat eye. Nice, later. Got another nice one here, it looks like. Nice variety of marbles in here. Ooh, look at this. This is gonna be nice. Oh yeah, pink. Oh, this is beautiful, hold on. All right, here's this marble from the previous clip. It's awesome. That green and there's clear base. Oh, that's nice. Real nice condition, I love it. That's a great one for one of my frames, which I will show at the end. That's nice. Thanks for watching. Gotta take these. Look at the ACL bottles down in here in this. I mean, every one of them is just nice. Lacrosse, Wisconsin. Gotta take it. Another pretty decent Pepsi. Small West Virginia town, Moundsville, West Virginia. Later. This is nothing great or anything, but that's a pretty, it's a federal all whiskey. That's a pretty unique shape one. I've never seen that. Thought I'd show it. But I got a marble down in here someplace. It's like right there somewhere. I think I got it on, yep, I can see it there. I'm starting to get back on the marbles. I'm not going to stay a whole lot longer because I did test holes all up in there, all over in there, and there's marbles everywhere. It's another green and white marble king, just a common one, but it's real nice as you can see condition, frameable. Later. Another beautiful ACL bottle. Right there's another Werner's ginger ale. It's messed up, but there's just ACL bottles everywhere. That one's good. It's got panels on it. Cool. Later. How did that survive? That's a shot glass and it's just, the glass is paper thin. Take that and repurpose it. Use it. All right, I'll get back. All right, this is about where I started three or four days ago, and I started finding marbles here. I'm gonna do this section over about three feet up into where I started doing good, and I just moved down here and got a green marble immediately within minutes. There's a heck of a layer here. I know there's a lot of marbles. The majority of them will be down here on this level. I, pr I did all that, that's exploratory digging over a couple days. There's, I've done so much digging if you just see it piled up, it's unbelievable. A lot of digging to find this stuff, but man, it's fun. So I'll get back. I'll find a few more here, and then I'm going to go look at me. Filthy. I wiped this one off a little bit. This thing's crazy. It's like an iridescent, like, looking swirl. Look at that. It looks like it might have a little melt to it, but 
Can't tell. Oh, that hand. That's crazy looking. It's a marble. That's ox blood again. But it's got a little melt to it. It's, man, that's still cool. But move all this stuff. It takes hours sometimes. Getting this piece flipped down. So I can keep making there behind it. My next trip. Oh, that was almost one I had to bust it in half with a sledgehammer. Whoo! That'll make you lightheaded. But see, now I can dig all that later. All right, over the past week, I started in here, went up this way, all the way up into where these holes are at. I'm right back on the marbles, moving over a little bit. Right here's another one. Beautiful orange one. Look at this. It's a swirl too. It's like an alley. It ain't bad. Bright orange swirl. Later. I'm back on the marbles. I went down in this way. There's marbles down in there and there's marbles up here. That kind of looks like a phantom conqueror maybe. It is. It's a vitreo agate like phantom conqueror. It's right in that age. Whoa. Oh yeah. That's amazing. It's all clear base. Red. It's all brushed in there. It's wet mint. I'm back on them. I, these are the kind of marbles I like finding. These, acros, alleys, certain marble kings. I like a lot of vitros. I like the color on vitro agates. They're beautiful. There's lots of other stuff I like. Jackson Marble Company. There's just peltier marbles are nice. Champion agates are just one of my favorites. They're hard to find, but I'll be back in this hole tomorrow or the next day. I gotta go arrowhead hunt and stay out all day, get some more videos together. I've got seven arrowhead hunting videos held back, but that's for winter. Um, I'm gonna hammer it, folks. Thanks for watching. Squirrel man at the end, we'll get him and check on the old boy. Later. All right, this is a vitro. It's all clear base. You can see clear in there. It's like Phantom Conqueror related or it's a Phantom Conqueror. It's pretty nice. Real nice condition. Other color right in there on that red. Nice marble. Later. Did a few more rakes just to make sure I was going to have a good hole to start in on my next video. And just within another minute. Right there's a Marble King marble. It's got some play dings on this one. It's not good enough to frame. It's a red and white Marble King. It's got chips all over it. It's really been played with. Like 20 chips. I'm setting that one down over the hill for somebody in 20 years. I'm digging here. I already did my closing and you know how I am. I love digging this stuff. Happiest I've ever been in my life doing this. Look here. A few minutes later, we're going to be on another treasure trove, but the other treasure trove was right in there. I'm just coming up the edge of my dig line. We're going to go like out back into here, all the way up around this tree, all the way to the top of the hill, but this looks amazing. This is a marble I can film with a good camera. It's nice. Look, it's like, let me wipe this one off. It's a swirl. Hold on. See how this is transparent? Kind of honey color base with white swirls. There's some, a lots of small, like a Playwright Marble Company. You can go over to marblecollecting.com. It's an excellent site. The guy that runs it has all of his information on the site there. Email. If you have marble pictures, send them to that guy. I'm sure he'll love hearing from you. And I don't know exactly what this is, but it might be like a Playwright Marble off that site I've looked at, but it's vintage, it's pre-1970. It's probably from the 60s or 50s, 40s, I don't know on this one. But man, it is nice. Later. All right, I'd say I found both of these marbles in this video. They're clear base, but they're color base. That one's kind of green with a white swirl. And then the marble I found in this previous clip, right here, it's got kind of a honey color base with a white swirl. They're beautiful. They look like the same manufacturer, for sure. Maybe that Playwright company, I don't know. Something like that. These are beauties, folks. Both of them in this trip. Nice for a frame. Laid out. I'm leaving on this one. 100% we're on marbles. They're going right up into here and up this way. Here's another blue one. It's probably a Marble King, but it's real nice condition. 
and it's just wet mint. It's a good find. I'm looking for more of it. Yeah, I'm just leaving now. I got one more alley agate. It doesn't have much of a pattern to it, but it's got BB blue with navy blue swirls. It's pretty nice. It's nice condition. It's a pre-1949 marble. I know. There's a marble right there. Huh. It's just a clear. Alright, I'm finally back to my truck. Look at me. I always get a sheik off before, but I'm just so sick with sweat, the dirt won't fall off. I mean, socks are filthy. I had to change my shoes. I mean, you're just filthy to the core. Look at this. But that's looking out the rivers, the higher rivers down in that valley. Those hills way out there, right there, or West Virginia. I'm standing on a hilltop looking over the higher river. You just can't see the higher river. It's just out there. Ah. Uh, two miles that's three or four miles over across the river there probably three well, anyway thanks for watching all right um, I'm back from the dump I got my little buddy here some kiwi treats squirrel man hi buddy missing you too and next we will look at what's going on you gonna be on YouTube People love you. Tell him you're a good boy too. We'll let him eat there, but I'll go put a few of them marbles in the frame I'm working on and I'll show you some of the marbles here I've dug over the last like month or two. Um, I've really been on them. Go back my last five or six videos as well are all marble digging. Man, I found nice ones. Ox bloods, all kinds of cool stuff. Later. All right, you can see how big this frame is. These are all recent marbles. There's just a big variety. And I've dug a whole bunch of these just this week. You can see there, this is how I do it. And I'll just gradually add the nicest ones from the day around this. And it'll be an amazing frame of marbles. There's lots of good ones. I appreciate you watching. Later.